Hey, Dan, how do you pick a solvent for your sample prep for GC? Oh, hey, yeah. So uh, when it comes to selecting a solvent, there's a couple of things that I look at. First, I avoid anything uh, that has strong acidic or basic components. So anything that's got a lot of hydrochloric acid. I know sometimes it can't be avoided, but I try to avoid it as much as possible. Why? Well, corrosive elements, they can ruin your column, and you don't really want to do that. And the next thing that I like to do is avoid components that are non-volatile. So if your solution has some non-volatile portions to it, I try to avoid that. So sodium hydroxide, I try and stay away from it. It tends to stick to the liner, and it can accumulate on the head of the column. So it's going to be corrosive, and it's going to start blocking your column, causing clogs. So you'll have to deal with that as well. Okay, so not a lot of hydrochloric acid and stay away from sodium hydroxide. What else? You'd also generally like a solution, uh, a solvent or solution that has a lower boiling point than your analytes of interest. That allows your solvent front to make it through the column before the rest of your analytes. Uh, and with a bit of luck, you'll also get some solvent focusing out of the deal, which is pretty good. So what solvents will work? So... Acetone is fine, pentane, DCM works, ethanol, ethyl acetate, THF, benzene, and, well, methanol can be kind of tricky on a one or a five column, but to remedy that, just make sure your, your column oven is above the boiling point of methanol, and you should be fine with that. Also, um, the lower the molecular weight, the greater the expansion volume. So if you're using a PVT inlet or you're using water in your solvent uh, and a split splitless uh, setup, you'll have to watch your injection volume. So if you have any questions about that, you can use a solvent expansion calculator online. There's, there's plenty of them to choose from. And lastly, I like to look at how the product is going to be used. So uh, right now I'm looking at citric acid and I'm looking at it in food stuff. So I do know that it's going to be ingested into the body, so I might use water as part of my uh, solvent mixture. So I'm going to dissolve uh, the, uh, I'm actually using uh, gummy bears coated in citric acid. I'm going to dissolve those in water, and then I'm going to make up the rest of the volume with either ethanol, or I'll look at, uh, for other compounds, I'll look at the polarity. And if I want a nonpolar substance, uh, then I'll just use a nonpolar solvent to pull it out of the water and into the organic phase. Thanks. Yeah, you're very welcome. Please like and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell icon to receive more content from Lucidity.